Hi, this is Ivan from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on record to play for you. Today's book is Marvin Monkey Around from 1984. So let's get started. This is a Marvin adventure story. You can follow Marvin in your very own book. It's simple. When you hear this sound... It means that Marvin is going to the next page. Turn the page and follow him. And now, it's time to begin our adventure. Marvin and his parents, Jenny and Jeff, had spent the afternoon at the zoo learning about the animal kingdom. When they reached the monkey's cage, Jenny went for ice cream, while Jeff sat on a bench watching Marvin. Soon Jeff dozed off in the warm sun, leaving Marvin to amuse himself watching the playful primates. The monkeys began to imitate Marvin, and he responded with delight by imitating them as well. This only excited the creatures more. Before Marvin knew it, they had formed a chain and swung down from their tree, carrying their new playmate to the highest branch. <laughs> Marvin was enjoying his adventure until he realized he couldn't climb or swing like the monkeys. He was stranded. And worst of all, he might not get down in time for his ice cream. Marvin began to sob. Tut, tut, dear, said a kind-hearted nearby elephant. I'll get you down. She wrapped her enormous trunk around Marvin and deposited him safely upon a boulder. Unfortunately, the elephant was nearsighted as well as kind. The boulder was, in fact, a sea turtle ambling toward his pond. Marvin held on for dear life as the turtle swam toward the opposite shore. On the other side, Marvin tumbled off the turtle's back right into a flock of flamingos. Goodness! he exclaimed. How can you manage to stand on one foot when I can't even manage it on two? One of the tall pink birds chuckled. If you think we're talented, look at our neighbors. <laughs> Marvin glanced over at a group of kangaroos bounding about on powerful legs. One of them hopped up to Marvin. Would you like a ride with my baby? She asked. In a flash, Marvin was bouncing around crazily. He tried to look as casual about it as the baby kangaroo, but just then a particularly big bounce sent him flying out of the pouch and into the next cage. He landed in the middle of a den of sleeping lions. A cub awoke and regarded Marvin suspiciously. Uh, who are you? He asked. Marvin smiled shyly. My name is Marvin, he began. But their introductions were interrupted by the voice of a small child. You have now come to the end of this side of the recording. Please turn it over for the conclusion of the story. Look at the baby lion's funny orange mane, Mommy, the boy shouted. His mother guessed. There's a baby in there. Quick, get the zookeeper. The cub knew he had to act quickly. We'd better get you out of here, 
he said. Humans sometimes get pretty carried away, especially the zookeeper. And here he comes now. The cub hurried Marvin into the peacock's cage, where the birds spread their beautiful plumage to hide him. Marvin crawled quickly across to the rhinoceros cage. I've gotten myself into a fine fix this time, Marvin moaned. By now, my ice cream has probably melted into a puddle. But the friendly rhinoceros had an idea. He slipped his horn through the straps of Marvin's overalls and whispered to his neighbor, the giraffe. The monkeys lifted this baby out of a stroller near your cage. Can you put him back without anyone noticing? As the giraffe leaned her long neck down to Marvin, the zookeeper spotted them. But before he could react, the elephant knocked him off his feet with a stream of water from her trunk. She trumpeted gleefully, delighted to have found her target in spite of her poor eyesight. Meanwhile, the giraffe lifted Marvin, unnoticed, over the wall of her cage, into his stroller. And not a moment too soon, for just then, Jenny returned with the ice cream. Have you heard about the baby loose in the animal cages? She asked. I'm so glad it wasn't Marvin. Thank goodness he's so well behaved. <sighs> he sure is. Yawn, Jeff. I watched him every minute, and he was as good as gold. They finished their ice cream and got ready to leave. Gee, that sure was fun. Marvin thought to himself as he waved goodbye to his new friends. Well, I didn't mean to cause such a fuss. Next time, I think I'll visit my animal friends from outside the cages. So that was Marvin Monkey Around from 1984. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, have a groovy day. And our next book will be... The uh, Incredible Trinket Marvin.